Hello and welcome to pmclounge.com. Today we are talking about the elements of the project management plan. So project management plan, what is it made of? Is it one document? Is it a group of documents? All your questions like these will be answered in this video. So do stick around till the end. Also, if you are into reading articles, if you would rather read about this topic, than watch a video then first link in the description is going to take you to an article on this topic over at our official website pmclounge.com so do check that out also this video is part of the integration management knowledge area so if you want to go over all other videos of integration management knowledge area you can check the second link in the description out so two important links do check them out let's get started before we move ahead, I'd appreciate if you drop a like on this video. That seems to be the only way YouTube is going to let you know whenever we publish our next video. OK, so let's talk about project management plan. First of all, the project management plan is without a doubt the core of integration management. Remember, I told you this topic is part of the integration management knowledge area and the core of this knowledge area is the project management plan. So that's how important this document really is. It is the main tool that the project manager uses for running a project. So if the project management plan is lost, the project manager is going to get lost too. So the project management plan as mentioned in this point, it is the main tool. It is something that the project manager is going to refer to multiple times every single day. Project management plan is not a single document. So that was one of the questions that I asked you in the first slide itself. Is it a single document? Is it a bunch of documents? So this answers the question. It is not a single document. It is actually a bunch of several other documents and these several other documents. We are referring to them as the elements of the project management plan. So there are 19 elements or 19 sub documents that combine to make up the project management plan. OK, let's go over the 19 elements or the sub documents that make up the project management plan. Starting things off with scope management plan, which is the output of the plan scope management process. So what does this document do? This describes how the project scope will be defined how it will be developed and when we say developed we mean what all activities would be needed how scope changes will be handled like the process of adding or removing a feature how you are going to handle that how scope will be controlled and how it will be validated so everything around the scope how your project team is going to manage the scope of the project all that is present in the scope management plan document. The next one is the requirements management plan document. Remember, we are talking about the elements of the project management plan. This is one document which is part of the project management plan. The requirements management plan is another document which is part of the project management plan. So what does this document do? Now, the requirements management plan is going to describe how the requirements of the stakeholders will be gathered, how they are going to be analyzed, how will they be documented and how the project team is going to manage these requirements. So the entire process of how you are going to achieve all this is available in the requirements management plan document. In addition to that, this document also describes how those requirements, the requirements that have been sent by the stakeholders, right? How those requirements will be met as part of the deliverables of the project. So if, if your project has 10 deliverables, how these 10 deliverables are going to meet all the requirements that the stakeholders have presented. That is also present in the requirements management plan. Moving on, the next document is the schedule management plan, which of course is the output of the plan schedule management process. So what does this document contain? Now this document describes how the project schedule will be developed, how you're going to create the schedule to begin with and how 
changes to the schedule will be handled like let's say if there's any updated deadlines or updated milestones what should be the process that needs to be followed in order to handle such changes all that is going to be present in the schedule management plan the next one is the cost management plan which of course is the output of the plan cost management process now this document describes how the budget the money the moolah the budget for the project will be created right so how you're going to come up with the budget for the project how much money do you need to execute the project and how you're going to come up with that number that process is defined in your cost management plan it also has plans on how to control budget related issues that may come up throughout the course of the project if there's any issue related to money related to the budget of your project how you're going to handle such issues all that is available in the cost management plan now mind you these documents are not pre-made these documents are basically documents that you and your project team need to sit together and create of course you can make use of templates of course you can refer to previous projects uh, that are of similar nature to your project uh, to get some reference but all these documents are something that you and your project team are going to create a quick reminder all our pmp courseware articles and videos are available on this link pmclounge.com slash pmp training everything is free do check it out so continuing our discussion on the elements of the project management plan the next in line is the quality management plan which of course is the output of the plan quality management process now this document describes how organizations policies methodologies as well as standards will be implemented in the project if you work in a construction company and this company takes up construction related projects there will be certain policies methodologies and standards that this construction company follows for every single project and these policies methodologies standards these are organizations own and these are related to quality how your specific project is going to meet those policies methodologies standards how you are going to implement them all of that is available in your quality management plan document the next thing is the fact that this document also includes how you are going to deal with problems if there are any problems that may arise if the end product if you are working in the construction company the end product could be a building if that building doesn't live up to the expectations of the customer what are you going to do that also is something that is mentioned in the quality management plan itself the next one is resource management plan of course the output of the plan resource management process this document describes how the project resources both team resources as well as physical resources how are they going to be allocated to your project and it is defined the process of allocation basically this document also includes how you're going to categorize the project resources how to manage any changes in the project team like identifying and handling any additional staffing needs as well as how to release the resources once the project is over so everything that is related to the resources of your project right how you're going to allocate those resources how you're going to get those resources allocated how you're going to manage them how you're going to manage any changes that may arise in terms of the resource requirements that you have and let's say you may not need all resources for the entire duration of the project so you may need certain team resources for the development part or the coding part of the project so you may you might as well release some of the developers or the coders from your project once the coding is 100 percent complete so all that is available in your resource management plan document all right the next in line is the communications management plan of course no points for guessing the output of the plan communications management process this document describes all the ways 
that the communication will be taking place with the project team. How you're going to communicate with your project team? Will it be face to face team meetings? Will it be Zoom calls? Will it be Skype meetings? Will it be over something else? Maybe Slack, you know, all that will be available in the communications management plan. Not just your entire project team, but also the sponsors, also the other stakeholders of the project. These people could be located in different parts of the world. These people could be located in, in regions where certain tools like, let's say, Skype may not work. So all that, how you're going to communicate with them, what time would suit for both the parties for communication, all that is available in the communications management plan. This document also includes when and by whom the project communication will take place. Is it just the project manager that is going to send out a weekly project status report? Or is it someone else who is going to do it on the behalf of the project manager? Who all need to basically give their approval before such status report is sent out to the larger team? All that is available in the communications management plan. The next document is the risk management plan output of the plan risk management process. This document describes how your project team is going to deal with anything that can go wrong on the project. Anything that can go right on the project, something that you didn't plan for and it happened, that is an opportunity for you and how your team is going to make use of that opportunity that is also available in the risk management plan. So how your team is going to deal with risks or opportunities on your project is something that is available on the risk management plan. This document also include all the risks, right? A list of risks that may materialize during the course of the project. And this is something which is part of the risk register document risk register document in turn is part of the risk management plan itself so the list of risk is something which is part of risk register this risk register is part of the risk management plan the risk management plan is part of the project management plan okay procurement management plan the output of the plan procurement management process this document describes how to deal with external vendors like acquiring goods and services externally no matter how big your organization is you might need some external vendors external people to provide services in order for you to complete your project how you're going to deal with them what could be the process that you're going to follow all that is available in the procurement management plan the next document is the stakeholder management plan and this document describes how to manage the expectations of all project stakeholders remember in the requirements management plan you took all the requirements from the stakeholders now it's your turn to make sure that their expectations are managed so how you're going to manage their expectations that's something that you will include in the stakeholder management plan document this document also includes how to you're going to include the stakeholders in the project related decisions as well as keeping them engaged based on their needs interests and impact your ceo might not really be interested in your daily stand-up scrum meeting but he or she might be interested in let's say a bi-weekly status of your project so that's how you're going to engage the stakeholders based on their interests based on their impact and all that should be part of your stakeholder management plan document so far we have seen 10 elements or 10 sub documents of the project management plan nine of them were basically the outputs of the first process of their respective knowledge areas for example the scope management plan is the output of the plan scope management process which is the first process of scope management knowledge area so similarly we have seen nine such documents the tenth one was requirements management plan and these 10 are basically the elements of the project management plan but these 10 are only 10 out of the 19 total elements of the project management plan the next three number 11 12 and 13 are basically baselines these are the baselines of the constraints of the project 
that is scope cost and schedule so let's take a look at these three starting things off with scope baseline now scope baseline is the snapshot of the project scope the approved project scope and this includes the when we say approved scope it basically contains three other documents which are scope statement the work breakdown structure or wbs and the wbs dictionary so these three documents make up the scope baseline next one is cost baseline and of course just like scope baseline cost baseline is the approved version of the project budget how much budget has been approved for your project that is the cost baseline third one is schedule baseline and similar to the other two baselines scope and cost schedule baseline is the approved version of the project schedule whatever schedule that has been approved by the project team that is your schedule baseline so these three baselines are also part of the project management plan the one of the three of the 19 elements of the project management plan so so far we have covered 13 of the 19 elements or sub documents of the project management plan let's kick things off with the 14th document that is the change management plan and this document describes how changes will be handled that is how they will be formally authorized and incorporated in the project change of any nature any kind that shows up in your project how you're going to deal with it so basically this document contains the process for managing changes on your project the next one is configuration management plan and this document describes the process for addressing changes to configurable items this is not changes to your project this is changes to your configurable items what are these items these are wbs dictionary scope statement and any such deliverable or formal document that requires change control so you have a configuration management plan in place that tells you the process of how you are going to change these documents so let's talk about the next document that is performance measurement baseline now we just talked about three baselines which were the scope cost and schedule and this document is basically an integrated version of those baselines so it contains your scope schedule and cost plan for the project work so when you are executing the project when you are doing the actual work your project's progress is measured against these baselines and that is how you are going to manage your performance so as of today when you are working on the let's say on the execution of the project today how can you measure where you are you are going to basically compare yourself against the scope of the project against the schedule of the project where should you have been and against the cost of the project that is how much you should have spent and how much value you should have achieved by now so this document helps you keep track of the performance of your project team throughout the execution phase of your project the next one is project life cycle this document describes the series of phases that a project passes through from its initiation to closure so if it's a software development project you will have design you will have coding you will have testing and then you'll have deployment these would be the different phases of the project but for a construction project there could be different phases for uh, let's say the construction of a dam let's say construction of metro trains the phases of the project is going to be different and these phases are defined and described in the project life cycle document so finally the last two documents that make up the 19 elements or 19 sub documents of the project management plan are management reviews and development approach so let's start off with development approach now this document describes the development approach that your project team is going to take that is will they be using a predictive iterative agile or a hybrid model of development to deliver the project now 
once you deliver the project the end result could be a product it could be a service or it could simply be an improvement a result right that could be the end result of your project but how you're going to deliver it what kind of model you're going to use what kind of development approach you're going to use that is part of the development approach document finally management reviews these are predetermined points during the course of the project and this is where the project manager and relevant stakeholders let's say customers let's say sponsors let's say uh, you know people higher up in the management they are going to review the progress of the project and when they do that it helps in determining if the performance of the project team is as expected or if there is any preventive or corrective actions required to bring the project back on track so development approach management reviews were the last two documents that make up the 19 elements of the project management plan question for this video how does your project management plan look like is it a bunch of documents that we just talked about or is it created from a tool created from a software where you put in information and it generates the project management plan for you let me know in the comments definitely looking forward to your answers and that's all that we had in this video i hope you got value out of it i hope you were able to understand the 19 elements of the project management plan smash that like button if you got value out of it subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever we upload new content also don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com number one free pmp resource thank you